today, police interviewed a list of, excuse me, a list of Dallas ISD elementary school students who say they were fondled and inappropriately touched by a substitute teacher. Fox 4's Deanna Ayer with the Body Elementary, where students told their parents what happened. Deanna. Well, that's right. Police are investigating. The school district is looking into the matter as well. And at least one DISD parent says that the district handled this, responded poorly. After I met with the detectives, they told me there was a few more that come forward. Now. This father, who doesn't want his face shown, says his fifth grade daughter at Peabody Elementary, who reported that Tuesday, a substitute teacher fondled her. Hey, you know what he just tried to do to me? And then her friend said, hey, he did that to me. Well, let's go report him. So they did that. DISD has not identified the teacher, but says he was subbing at the campus for the first time. In a letter about the incident of parents, it states, a few of our fifth graders reported that the substitute teacher may have touched them inappropriately. The teacher was immediately asked to leave the campus, and an investigation is underway. At this point, we are still gathering the facts. This father says the district has handled the matter poorly for his family in particular. He says the school never called him or his wife. Well, her name was one of the names on the list. It just got overlooked. And what that, do you mean overlooked? That's what the principal told me, it was overlooked. And she told me, hey, I, I apologize. Um, she goes, you can contact my boss because I did drop the ball, and I'm sorry. Because they didn't call you? Yes, because they didn't call me. He says his daughter told her story to a DPD detective. And tearfully, this dad expresses, it's hard to now wait to see if the accused substitute teacher will face charges. Oh. Make sure to emotional. Yeah, one minute you're angry, one minute you're crying, and you know, you just want answers. Why couldn't anybody call and say, hey, this is what's going on? Now we followed up with the school district uh, about its response in this matter. Uh, a spokesperson tells me that automated calls or robo calls went out to all parents about this matter on yesterday around five o'clock. The, the parent we spoke to says that because his child was uh, involved or an alleged victim, he should have been contacted directly as soon as she made the outcry. So latest live here, Steve, back to you. All right, Dion, question since, since he hasn't been charged. His name's not out there in the public. Could he pop up at another school, either within the district or another district outside of this district? Yeah, the parent that we talked to had that very same question. Uh, I posed that question to the district, and they tell me, they assure uh, me in this matter that this particular substitute teacher is no longer uh, able to substitute uh, anywhere in the district while this matter is being looked into. Steve. Okay. Dion Anglin in Oak Cliff tonight. Thank you very much.